Welcome to Biology the Tenth Study of Life. Uh, case study analysis of grizzly bear populations. Uh, how does the actual size of the Yellowstone grizzly population compare with Schaffer's estimates of minimum viable population size? Several sources of information indicate that the grizzly population of Yellowstone is growing. One of the best uh, indicators of that growth is the number of females absorbed with cubs each year. In uh, increases in this number from uh, 1973 to uh, 22 uh, support the conclusion that the Yellowstone grizzly population has grown substantially. Moreover, since um, uh, more of our, uh, since not all females uh, with cubs uh, are detected, the numbers shown in this figure are minimal estimates, and because female grizzly uh, they have young approximately once ever, uh, every three years uh, the number of females uh, are cabs each year uh, is only about one third as shown this figure of the uh, to of the total number of the mature females in the population adding in mature males and females and mature males to estimate the mature females uh, and cabs yields uh, a total grizzly population size for the greater Yellowstone ecosystem exceeding 400. The relationship uh, of, this, of this estimate of the total grizzly population to the effective population size in, in, is dependent on several factors. Usually only a few dominant males breed and it may be difficult for them to locate females since individuals inhibit such extensive areas. Moreover, females may reproduce only when there is abundant food, as a result, in a is, uh, in a is uh, only about 25% of the total population size, which for the Yellowstone population uh, of about 400 would be only about 100 people. Uh, because uh, small populations tend to lose uh, the genetic variation over time, a number of research teams have analyzed proteins uh, mitochondria DNA and nuclear uh, micro uh, microsatellite DNA to assess the genetic variability uh, in the Yellowstone grizzly bear population. As a result, all results to date indicate that the Yellowstone population has less genetic variability than other grizzly bear populations in the in North America. However, the isolation and decline in genetic variability in the Yellowstone grizzly bear population were gradually during the 20th century and not as severe as feared um, museum uh, specimens collected in the early 19 demonstrate that genetic variability among the Yellowstone grizzly bear has uh, historically been low. These studies also indicate that the effective population size of the Yellowstone grizzly population is larger than formerly um, th uh, thought. Approximately 80 uh, individuals through most of the 20th century and now slightly over 100. How might conservation biologists increase the effective size and genetic variation of the Yellowstone grizzly bear population? Migration between isolated populations of grizzlies uh, could uh, increase uh, the both effective and total population sizes. Computer models uh, predict uh, that in introducing only two uh, unrelated bear um, each decade into a population of 100 individuals would reduce that loss of genetic variation by about half for the uh, grizzly bear and probably for many other species whose populations are very small, finding ways to promote dispersal among populations may be one of the most uh, urgent uh, conservation needs. The case study, as well as that of the greater prairie chickens, bridge uh, small population theory to practical applications uh, to, uh, in conservation. Uh, declining population approach. The declining uh, population approach focuses on uh, threatened uh, and endangered populations that show a downward trend. Even if the population is far above minimum uh, viable uh, size, 
and distinction between a declining population which may be small and a small population which may be declining is less important than the different um, uh, priorities uh, of the two basic conservation approaches. The small population approach emphasizes smallness itself as an ultimate cause of a population extinction. Um, uh, especially through loss of genetic diversity in contrast the declining population approach emphasizes uh, the environmental factors that cause a population decline in the first place if, the exa if for example an area is deforested uh, then species that depend on the trees will decline and become locally extinct whether or not they retain genetic variation steps for analysis and uh, intervention the declining population approach requires that population declines be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis with researchers carefully dissecting the causes of decline before recommending or trying connective, uh, correct, corrective uh, measures. If, for example, the biological magnification of a particular toxic pollutant is causing a decline in some top level consumers such as predatory bird, then only reduction or elimination of poison in the environment can save uh, that particular species. Particular species rarely is the situation so straightforward. However, the following steps for analyzing declining populations and determining interventions are useful even in complex cases. One. Assess population uh, trends and distribution to confirm that the species is presently in decline or that it was formerly more widely distrib distrib distributed or more abundant. 2. Study the nature history of this uh, and related species, including reviewing the research literature to determine the species' environmental requirements. 3. Develop a hypothesis for all possible causes of the uh, decline including human activities and natural events and list um, the predictions of, of each hypothesis. 4. Because many factors may be correlated with the decline, test uh, the, um, the most likely hypothesis first. For example, remove the su uh, suspected uh, agent of decline to see the, if the experimental population rebounds relative to a control population. 5. Uh, apply the results of the diagnosis, diagnosis uh, to management of the threatened species and meaningful recovery. Uh, the following case study is an example of how the declining population approach was applied to one uh, endangered species. A case study decline of the red uh, cockaded uh, woodpecker, as shown to see here. The red cockaded uh, woodpecker is an endangered species in Edmic found uh, nowhere, uh, nowhere else, to the southeastern United States and once living through that region. This species requires mature pine forests, uh, preferably uh, once dominated by the long leaf pine for its habitat. Most woodpeckers nest uh, in dead trees, but the red uh, cockaded um, Cockded wood paper uh, picker drills its nest holes in nature, leaving pine trees as shown this figure. Um, um, uh, also, drill small holes around the entrance on their nest cavity, which causes resin uh, from the tree to oz uh, to oz down the trunk. The resin seems to repel uh, certain predators such as corn snakes that eat bird eggs and nestlings. Another a critical habitat factor for this woodpecker species is that the under, um, understory of plants uh, around the, uh, the, pine, uh, the pine trunks uh, must be low. Breeding bears tend to abundant nests. When vegetation among the uh, pines uh, is thick, and higher as shown figure, and higher than about uh, 15 feet. Apparently, the bears require a clear fi uh, flight path between uh, their home trees and the neighboring, uh, neighboring feeding grounds. Historically, periodic fires uh, swept through uh, longleaf uh, pine forests, keeping the undergrowth low. Uh, 